All right. All right. Arturo, you got your workbook, sir? No? <laughs> I like getting I like getting the Oh well. We wish you luck. We wish you luck. Okay, um, so we're talking about organization of grassroots. Okay, and I'm gonna we're gonna go through a PowerPoint with you guys and just remind you all. Well, what, where we've been. What page is it? This is not on any page, but I'm just going over how, what, we've, what we've been doing so far. But like, what page am I supposed to be? You're, you're, we're going to look at, your notes are going to start on page 22 today. Oh, okay. Good. This, I'm just giving this a little review, Jose. So don't be confused. With, this is this is for you guys. This is, all the time for you. this is where we've been, and I want you to see where we're going. Okay? So, we're, yes, ma'am. Are these notes going to be on campus later? Yes, they will be. There'll be a video. I just have an upload. Yeah. That's not so. Okay. So know that when we're organizing a graph, we're adding edges. Well, we're not technically adding edges. We're just showing the the Eulerization by connecting the odd bounds vertices. Remember, you got to get this only word on graphs that have vertices with an odd balance. We're going to create, because there's no other circuit there. It doesn't pass the other circuit. Um, so we we pair up, we, we, we find the odd balance vertices, and then we pair them up and we draw an edge. But we're not really drawing, it, drawing an edge or creating a bridge. We're just duplicating that edge. And then this is another way you can squeeze in the organization of the graph into the graph. It is, remember I did the I did the double head of I did the double headed arrows, but you can also do an arrow along the edge. If, uh, that works for you. It's also another strategy, another way to show you know, exactly graph. And this is another way to squeeze the Eulerized circuit under the ground. Okay. So now remember we we try to make these circuits as efficient as possible. We do not want to reuse. Too many edges. We want to keep those reused edges to a minimum. We want it out We want it efficient. And so our, our our idea is that we traverse every original ad and then the added edge once. Okay. And as we find these circuits, we start and then at, at the same vertex. These are circuits, and we end. And there's lots of ways through these oilized graphs. We can start at a different vertex. And we can go through the graphs in many different ways. Um, but we're not really adding an edge. We're just duplicating what's already there. Okay? So the hints we can we talk about, I mean, for this to be the most efficient, we're, we're looking to, for the fewest edges to connect these paired up odd balance vertices. We use a strategy called nearest neighbor. Okay? We try to pair these odd balance vertices up with the nearest neighbor odd balance vertex, okay, something nearby. Preferably something that's connected just by one edge. Now, when we were doing that organized graph activity yesterday, there was that one on the back, number number eight, number eight, but you guys had to pair up one of the odd balance vertices with through another vertex, through the another vertex. You guys remember this one? You guys, a lot of you guys kind of had questions about this. My odd vertex is right here. I hope you can see this in yellow. And my yellow were my odd balance vertices. And we had to go through this vertex right here. And some of you had, had, had questions about that. Can, can I do that? Of course. We're using two edges. We're using two edges, so we got to 
show that we're reusing those two edges by putting in the, the double headed arrow. Okay? Well, we can do that. And, and sometimes you're not just going through one vertex, sometimes you're going through two or three vertices. And so we locate the odd balance vertices and we try to connect those vertices through the edges that are there. And they're going to take us sometimes through other vertices, through other even, evenly balanced vertices. So notice that's going to happen here. So my example here is, is X and Y. You guys see there, there's two vertices in between them. They're separated by two vertices, okay? So they're not right next to each other. They're not, they're not very neighbors. But this is, as, this is as good as we can get it. This is as good as we can get it. So know that we, we authorize this by, we can draw an edge, but this is not really, we're not building a new bridge there. We gotta, we gotta use what's there. And so X is connected to Y through vertex U. And we have to go to vertex V to get to Y. So we're going through two vertices. And in this example, we're reusing three edges to authorize these odd balanced vertices. Okay? So we're reusing three edges in this example. Now, when we squeeze in the graph, we would have to put, we would have to put double arrowheads on these edges. And so that shows us that we're squeezing in the other right circuit in our graph. Okay? That's how we would do it. And we put that double headed arrow on each of those. Let me make this bigger. It's, it's really, really a tight fit here. So we're we're double doubling up these ones. So we're we're doubling up these ones right here because that's how we're connecting the line. We're reusing three edges and we're squeezing in that on the graph. And so now we should be able to find another circuit. We should be able to find another circuit. This one was kind of challenging. Let's try it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 edges. 24 edges to realize that. I almost put a bridge there. You didn't use one. Where? Which one? You didn't repeat that one or whatever. This one? Yeah, you I started that one. I went this way and then I came back this way. I, I should have repeated this one too at the same time. So I didn't do it. There's lots of different ways, a lot of these circuits see this graph that I just put on. Questions on that? All right. Today we're going to talk about the edge walker technique. An edge walker technique we're using on gridded graphs on rectangular networks. So now the edge walker technique is, is only only uses, only authorizes the vertices along the edge. Because this is what I want you guys to see. On this interior. These interior vertices have even balances. I mean, these are all have a balance of four. They're all even. So these don't need to be fixed. We don't have to oilerize those circuits. We don't have to oilerize those vertices. We don't have to draw any edges there. Because this interior in a gridded graph on these rectangular networks, they're already even. So the edge walker technique, what it does, it's like it's like you're this little man. You're a little man, you're walking along the edge here. You walk around clockwise along the edge. And when, and when you find a vertex that has an odd balance, you draw an edge, a loop to the next vertex. Then you never draw a loop behind you. You're always continuing in front of you. What, the next vertex in front of you, you're going to draw it. So in this example, I would, this one's even. The corner ones always are even, so you skip it. 
You skip the even ones. And then this one's odd and I gotta fix it. And then when I get to the, the corner, that corner one is even. So I skip it and I said, so I'm gonna go down this edge. And when I do that, this one is odd. So I, I, I do a loop to the next one. Now I come down here to D. Well, D is also even, so I'm gonna skip that. So now I'm gonna go this way. I'm going clockwise. This one is odd. And so I gotta loop it to the next one. So now when I do that, this this edge is this this vertex has a meter balance. So I drew this edge to it. It fixed its odd balance to an even balance. So now I can skip that one. Now, I, now I'm here in the corner, that one's already even. So I'm gonna skip that one. So now I go up here. And that's what the pattern looks like. And then this and this is what I the end result. Take that loop. Take the loop. So there's an algorithm for this. So we start in the upper left hand corner. We travel clockwise and along each edge, checking each vertex for its whether they have an even balance or an odd balance. If they have an even balance, we skip it. If it has an odd balance, that vertex, we draw a loop, we draw an edge to the next vertex. And you repeat this rule until you get back to this left corner. You repeat this rule until you get to the last, to the last corner. Again. And so now this is page 22. This is page 22. So this is a technique for euralizing the graphs that have an odd balance at every vertex. The technique that we use for odd balance vertices. And this, this technique works for gridded graphs. It works for gridded graphs or rectangular networks. This is this is a lot of ways this gridded graphs, rectangular networks. This is how a lot of cities were planned, like big cities like Chicago. Minneapolis, New York. They have they have blocks. Their downtown areas are all by blocks, by gridded system, gridded networks. And so we use this um, system for, for fixing the edges along the edges. We start up in the left-hand corner, travel clockwise around the, the boundary, and as we travel, we add edges with the following rules. This again, so you're going to have a little walking man here. And you can walk like this. You skip the first one, but it's even, but this one's odd. I need to draw, I need to draw an edge to the one that's next to it. So when I do that, now this one's not, this one's even now, so I can skip it. And when I go to the corner, that one's already even. So I, I skip this one, so I go down here. Well, this one's odd. That one's an odd balance vertex. So I got to draw the next vertex. And when I did that, this one was odd beforehand, but when I drew that edge, it's now even. So now I can skip this one, because that's even in the corner. But then this one's odd again. And so I draw, I draw that edge. I got to didn't quite make it there. And I draw that edge in. And then I skip this one, and I go up here, and I finish it until I get back to my left-hand corner. So why does this work? Well, it's because we pair up. We pair odd balance vertices. And when you pair something up, you're gonna make it even. You, 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 you don't know what it means. You just, you just you're adding an edge between them. And when you add an edge between two odd numbers, it's going to make it even. Three is going to become four. Five is going to become six. I mean, it's all what you started with. You, you all started with the, an odd balanced vertex. Questions on this? Right. Let me show you another example. 
Now, this is just an algorithm. You just follow the algorithm. It's just a pattern. As is all math is like a pattern. It's just a pattern that you kind of put in place. Again, I'm going to start with a little walking man in the corner. My, my graph is this one, example seven. This first vertex is on the corner. It's, it's even. It's got a, a balance of two, so I skip it. But then this one has a balance of three. It's odd. So I'm going to draw an edge forward to the next vertex. And when, when I did that, this vertex now has a balance of four. So I can skip it. I go to the corner, and that, I didn't draw anything there, so this one still has an even balance, that corner of vertex, so I skipped that one. Now I'm going to go down here. I'm going to go down this edge. And when I get to this one, this is odd. And so I have to draw an edge to the next vertex in front. And that happens to be a corner vertex. Remember, our corner vertices are all even. So when I drew that, now this vertex, this corner vertex, has an odd balance. So I'm going to have to draw an edge to the next one, okay? And so now this corner vertex has an even balance. And when I go to this next one in line, well, that fixed this one too. This one's got an even balance, so I can skip it. If I go to the next one, this is odd. So I circle it, and I'm going to draw an edge to the next vertex. And that happens to be a corner vertex. So now that one's got an odd balance again. So now I got to I got I got to draw another edge right here. So now I'm back to where I started, and I'm done. And so that's what you get. That's what you get. That's the pattern you're looking at. That's the pattern you're looking at. Questions on this? I want you to try this, Kyler. I want you to try this. So I want you to do example nine. I'm oh, sorry, example eight. eight. Example eight. Let's do example eight. Do example eight. And if you feel real comfortable with that, I want you to try example nine. Okay? And then we'll and then we'll go over it. So right now you're, you're you're trying out example eight. Remember the pattern. It's just a pattern. Yep. I did it. Yep. Yep, you started it. Yep, I think you started it. Oh, what happened to that corner? Yep. Yeah, he's got it. She's getting it. Emily's getting it. And then what happened to the corner there? Yeah, it's odd so you got to look at the next one. Well, let's just look here. Okay. Did you got to do double up. Yeah, I did. I did. You didn't have to do anything there. You didn't have to do anything there. Okay, talk to me. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? Nothing? What are you going to do? What are you going to start this? How are you going to start this? Okay, is that even right? Both. 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 I'll show you again. I'll show you again, Markel. You guys, you guys, I'm just showing you a pattern. If you're on your phones right now, you're not going to get this. It's an I, easy pattern. I did both of them. Did you? Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so, um, what I do here, I'm going to erase this and do this again. Example seven. This way. So, this one right here has got two edges at that vertex. That's even. I'm not going to erase it now. So, I skip it. So, I go to this one. This is odd. So, I need to draw an edge. And I draw an edge forward. Okay? And then I skip this now because I just made that even. And this cor these corner ones are always evenly balanced. So I'm going to skip that one. So I'm going to go down here this way. So this, I go clockwise here. And at this one right here, this is odd, so I circle it. And I could draw an edge to that corner. When I draw, when I drew that edge to the corner, 
I just made that corner's balance odd. It had a balance of two, that's an even balance, but I, I drew an edge there. So now it's got a, a balance of three, it's odd. So I gotta draw an edge on this side for the next one. This little box right here. And so this one gets fixed. This one I can skip now, it's got a balance of four. Now this one's got a balance of three, so I gotta circle it and then draw an extra corner. And now, now I just made that corner odd again. So now I need to draw and fix the balance of that corner vertex. And so I'm gonna do it like this. That, that, that's the pattern. That's the pattern. You just follow the algorithm, follow the, the process. And when you're when you get back to your left corner here, you're done. You're done. We, we have Euler-ized this graph using head one. And know that all these interior points, they've got to be in their balance. This is only, we're only worried about the vertices on the edge. Does that help you? Yes. Is that? Yes. Okay. You did example eight and nine, pretty close. I did a one check mark. This one. So once you do example eight, by example nine, let's see. Yeah. Let's see if we got this. It's just, it's just a pattern. Now you got to loop this corner. So you made this odd. You started doing it. Same process. Same process. We start exactly the same. When you, draw, when you draw an edge to the corner, now you got to move it on the side. Okay? Because you got to get that edge of black. Yeah. Yeah, you got this. Yeah, she's got this too. You got it? Yeah, so that's like. You know, yep. Yeah. 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 Okay, so now you see it. Yes. Yeah. This is our angel. So you know, you have to do the same thing. This is the All right, so they go ahead. All right, who else got questions? You got this, Lopez? Got this? This one's right. Yeah. 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 Good. Good. Mr. Bloom. Mr. 
Is it blue? No. Do you have tissues? Tissue? I got a runny nose. You got a runny nose? I do not have any tissues. Yeah, you got a question? Got a question? I heard there's variant out. Is it true there's a new variant out? Yeah. We got a mask up? No. No need. Should I open it? No, bad luck. Uh, I don't know. Bad luck. Who started? Oh, bro, this one time off. I have a new one. I have a new one. Bad blood. Bad blood. Open up brother inside. That break up your room. That walk up your ladder. And you superstition. That's according to my mom. You'll go broke. I heard that too, but I still don't know. Oh, yeah. I'm not that superstition, but, you know, I don't. Yeah. I only put myself on the floor when I don't have my nobody else to hold it. Why so early? Yeah. For what? I can take I can take You want to buy my tickets? I don't get paid next week. I said something. You want to buy my tickets? If I bring one down, one. This is one that I know. Those race tickets, though? I'm not going to get tickets. They're so real. $1,000. No, but you know, you know what that's to me though. After they just want her water, she's walking back to the stage. So they play it tomorrow. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I was just watching the all right, well, we got this. Yes. 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 They can't focus too many on Taylor. Taylor, ice, ice, bro, on there. I watched it on YouTube. Mark, what are you doing? Oh, man, I'm always going to get Emmy. Emmy. How does this I'm so proud. One, Sorry, 
Session tomorrow, and look at page 26. There are some pretty graphs here, some rectangular networks that we're going to have to use. If you want to try one of those, if you want to pick out one of those to try right now in class, because I don't want you guys forgetting this, I don't want you guys to get this. Um, why don't you try it? Do get, get it done right now. And then tomorrow we're going to do these together as a class, okay? Um, we we'll just have a work day, a problem session. And some of you still have to take the quiz. Some of you still have to take one of the tests. And so that will be what we do tomorrow. Make sense? Okay. Yeah, I can graph, rectangular networks. Possibly. All the high down to the I can see. Yes, I know. I kind of got into that a little bit. Yeah. Well, we're good. Again, these are these are strategies. We try something different every day, and there, there's a lot of strategies for you guys to remember. That's why we have your student workbook. That's why you want to be taking notes in the student workbook because you're not going to remember these other things. Mr. Bloom gets up and doesn't remember. All right. I <laughs> <laughs>